Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today we want to take a look into free amazing integration testing helpers that will help you to uh, create integration tests in your next project. And because you need something where you can run your integration tests on, this video is sponsored by Code Magic. Whether you have a private project or a fully fledged production app, Code Magic has you covered. Additionally, the fantastic UI of Code Magic allows you to create the ICD workflows very easily. And if you hit the rocky path and have some troubles to implement it, the support and documentation got you covered and helped helps you out of every trouble. All right, and if you are now interested, thanks to the fair pricing model, you'll get 500 build minutes every month from CodeMagic sponsored. The first package that enters the ring is Flatium, created from Wolven Rain. He created a package where you declare your workflow for integration tests inside of a YAML file. That YAML file is getting read it from the build runner and there is the integration test created for you. With that, you only declare and describe what your workflows will be and Flatium will create all the code that you need to run your integration tests. That is especially cool if you want to have a very easy way to implement integration tests and you don't want to pollute your code with integration test files, folders and things like that. This will allow you to focus on the creating of the user workflows and reduces the burden of the code whatsoever. This is the newest package into the ring, so it will be uh, has some problems and only limited functionality at the moment, such as um, checking for visible items, running into exceptions, and last but not least, entering information into form fields. All right, but let's get started with Flatium, right? So the first thing to know is that it is a Dart package that you can install globally directly in your namespace. With that, you have it directly with Dart executed. With, for that, you have to execute Flutter pub global activate Flatium CLI. Afterwards, you can create a flow file. Here we describe what should be tested. Thanks to Flatium CLI, we can directly execute it here uh, with Flatium create my flow YAML. Here you can enter your name with a description of the first flow. We call it my first flow. Next, we execute a test with Flatium test my flow YAML. In the best case, you should see now a lot of green ticks and Flatium has created the test cases for you, run them and were quite successful. That's already everything you need to know about Flatium. But what I can tell you is that the documentation is great and the example folder that there is provided gives you a lot of insights on what the idea is behind. Um, Wolverine has some very interesting future ideas for it and I would love to see how he wants to go further with it. So I would recommend you to hit the star on GitHub and have an eye on it. What will the, there be next? But now let's go to our second candidate, Petrol. And probably the most advanced one who could be stable, but it's still in heavy development. Um, different to Flatium, it will not create you all the code and will push it into your project, but it will set up the integration tests very clean in your project thanks to the po po bootstrap function. Another big benefit from Petrol is that it allows you to access native functionalities such as rotating the device directly from your code. That's pretty cool. Also, thanks to the support and maintenance of Lean Code, which is the company who provided Petrol in the first place, you can be sure that there will be long-term support and a tool that is already used in production. All right, but how do you get started now? That's quite easy. First of all, Petrol is also a Dart package again. So you can directly activate it by tar Dart Pub Global Activate Petrol CLI. Next, perform a good old bootstrap. With the bootstrap functionality, you have the possibility to set everything up in your project. Petrol bootstrap, quite easy. Last but not least, make sure that your device is running and execute Petrol drive. That's it already. Petrol should directly start the test. This is the first example where Wi-Fi is connected and disconnected and the state of the app is reloaded. If we check the files that are generated, we can see it looks like the normal integration tests. And whew, if I see that, I receive flashbacks from jQuery, right? <laughs> but because it's not in production code and directly will be executed everywhere, 
I guess it's fine. So for the integration test, you have the dollar sign where you can access the native elements and search for some elements inside of your screen, thanks to the finder functions. That is quite powerful, powerful and convenient. Also here in Petrol, the documentation and examples are really great and allow you to have everything up to date and make the whole integration testing process quite enjoyable. Last but not least on my list is Honey. I underestimated it a little bit when I began with that video. Because I was watching the other two parts and they were so easy and smooth to integrate and Honey was not so easy for me to understand. But now where I have more understanding, I was really surprised. Uh, Honey offers a VS Code extension. And with that, you can start your application in a Honey test case. There you create now files in a, called, uh, in a language called HoneyTalk and this language allows you to write tests in human readable parts. But now comes the clue. Compared to the other two where we use the integration test package, Honey has a different approach. They start the application and run inside of that application the tests. What does that mean is that you don't have to restart everything again. You start the app once in the Honey context and after that your Honey the tests that you have created are running one by one through. That means all the tests that you have are getting executed and as soon as you re-execute them it's just a hot reload and or a hot restart instead of a whole new startup of the application. That has a benefit that it's very fast to produce and work with it, and so for us developers it's quite a good testing tool, but it has the disadvantage, at least for now, that we cannot put it for example in Firebase testing suite to let them run automatically. So how do we get started with Honey? First you need VS Code. It is mandatory because there you have the extension and the file support. So you install the extension in VS Code and afterwards what you need to do is add the dependency into your pubspec.yaml, making flutter pub.get and afterwards you create a folder in your, um, in your main tree, name it honey and inside of that you can add honey tests. Now you have to add something into your launch JSON to execute the app in a honey context. Next step is to add a um, check inside of your main Dart and now you are ready to go to run your honey tests. So for example, I've prepared here a honey test with all the different things and you can run that now and your application will do that one by one and verify the different points. And with that, you have run your honey test. As I said, I was quite surprised because it was so different to my approach that I understood, but I really liked it at the end that I can, as a developer, easily integrate tests with it. So a big benefit. Now we talked about three packages, Petrol, Honey and Flatium. All three have their benefits and downsides. For example, Flatium is still in heavy development, very early, at the moment a bit stale, but that will come and allows you to write in YAML format, which we all know already, thanks to pubspec.yaml and so on, to create your tests. That is perfectly for us developers and if we can create these integration tests later uh, as a full uh, suit, we can also upload it for Firebase automatic testing, for example. But obviously it works with the integration tester, so it's a little bit slow. Yeah? It takes its time, it's E2E testing, but we can write human readable. So pretty, pretty good compromise. Then we have on the other side, Petrol. Petrol is already very good in development, has a very good idea where it wants to go and it allows you for native development, which is uh, using native elements and for example, rotating the device or uh, clicking away some tracker notifiers. But also here you have still limitations at the moment, which could lead that you are getting blocked somewhere. But also here, if you want to get somewhere where it's really production ready, I think Petrol is at the moment the one that you would need an eye for. And the last one is our good Honey. And as I said, I was pretty surprised because for me as a developer, if I want to integrate something, I would be very happy to have that a solution to just quickly verify if my thing that I create at the moment is working correctly. So I really like that solution. The only downside here is that I cannot put it in overnight tests, for example, at the moment moment. But maybe there come some solutions later. So what I would recommend you if you have a project just start for now with Petrol and keep the other two an eye on because for Honey for example the documentation is not that good and Flatium is just at the bare beginning at the moment. 
But now I'm of course interested. Did you use one of these packages already and had maybe experiences? Please let me know down in the comments below what you think is the next package and what you have used already. I can't wait to read your answers. Great, now that we have all the integration tests working, you are maybe interested in how you can work with EsaDB and where you can directly test your new developed skills. For that, check out the video here. Thanks for joining. Bye.